other people lived in this house before me. I do not regret my time alone. I like to eat my dinner in the mirror and pretend I am watching someone else. The door inside the coat closet shudders and sometimes there is scratching. The door inside the cabinet under my guest bedroom sink has a pattern on its face. I frequently receive calls from a woman who keeps asking to speak to the man of the house. For weeks all of my outgoing mail came back returned to sender. I like to take pictures and hide the film. The door under my bed is installed with a small window. Through the window, I can see into another family's home. I watch the meat breakfast and clean the dishes and discuss the matters of the house. They do not know I can see them, or if they do, they don't let on. Once someone knocked on the door inside the dishwasher, it shook the counter and knocked a picture off the wall. The dishwasher was on heated dry cycle and I did not want to open it in fear I'd burn my hand. By the time the cycle ended, there was no knock. The door in the floor in the sunroom changes colors with the weather. I have heard there are men and women who fantasize of rape. I try not to believe everything I am told, but there is often too much time to think. When I receive a call from a wrong number, I try to keep them on the line as long as possible. I took a screwdriver to the door in my attic. I broke three fingernails and scratched the paint. I went to the hardware store and bought a pickaxe. I chipped and chapped and swung. I could feel the burn in my arms for weeks. I hid the pickaxe in the closet. I once received a photo of myself in the mail with no return address. I had no idea who took it or where or when. I was smiling in the picture. I looked well in admiration. I stuck the photo on the fridge with magnets and my eyes facing toward the door. One of the doors is a pet entrance I had installed, though I do not own a dog or cat. I'd get one, but I once heard about a friend who was mauled to death by his cocker spaniel. I like to keep my options open. Sometimes at night, I hear certain doors open and people come into my house. I'm usually already in bed or in the bathtub when this happens. Nothing is ever missing or misplaced. I take that back, one night my silk gloves had been put on by someone with large hands. The silk was all stretched out and I could no longer wear them. I still keep them in a drawer. I was informed at a young age I would not have children. I don't like wearing the same outfit more than once a year. The only door I ever opened was in the crawl space under the den. It was unlocked and came right open. Behind the door there was a corridor. It was well lit with fluorescent panels. And the air was cool. There weren't any other doors or pictures. It went on and on and on. I walked until I had to sleep. And when I woke up, I went back. door beside my front door often confuses me when 
I am tired. There are, are several large bumps underneath my hair. I dreamt there was a door in my stomach. It was gray and had a curtain window. I could feel, feel the doorbell on my tongue. Some nights I lay in bed, my face pressed against the door lodged in my headboard. I hold my breath and I listen. Other nights I sleep. <laughs> <laughs>